Hi guys, how are you? Yep, it's me again. Anyway, doing something a little different. Now, Pink Sweets, on Stamper, did something similar the other day. She did a Santa hat. And she found it from another YouTuber. Go watch her videos, you'll like them. You can find from Anya who she got her original idea from. Now, me being me, I have to do something a little different. So instead of a Santa hat, I've got a package with a small bow on it. Now, I've got one eye done, so I can show you doing the other eye how to do this. This one's actually fairly easy to do. Um, there's not that many colors in it. The hardest thing is drawing the little outlines around the bow section. Anyway, let's get started with this. First thing I'm going to do, I've already done my eyebrows, and I'm going to put some primer on here. This is my current favorite primer, which is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Comes in a nice little squeeze tube. Easy to work with. I love it. It dries down relatively quick, but it doesn't get completely just flat dry. So, yeah, photo focus, eye pr eyeshadow primer, wet and wild, inexpensive, very good. Okay, now let me get started here with all of my fun toys. Now. All I did originally is I took a matte pink just to kind of set the area where I'm putting the pink wrapping paper, basically. And yes, I seriously cheated. I did the left eye first since that one takes me four ever since it's the offhand and I could take my time since I was off camera And yes, in case you don't, you're questioning yourself, I have changed my hair color. It was about time. Now, once I have the mat down, I started picking up a pink shimmer. Now, this is actually in the color workshop palette that I picked up and did the yesterday's film on I figured what the heck it worked really well yesterday let me do it again and all I'm spritzing with in this case on the shimmer is plain water and for one thing Spritzing with setting spray can get expensive. 
Now, I've found a couple of DIY recipes for doing setting spray at home. And for the most part, it's just glycerin and water. And you can either put a toner in it with, you, with it or not. And whatever toner you use, it's like I'm thinking about just using the witch hazel I already have on hand, the witch hazel toner. One of the recipes suggests using rose water toner, and then you're going to smell like roses like crazy. If that's your gig, go for it. It's kind of like I stick to mostly budget palettes currently because that's what I can afford. I keep telling people part of my focus on here is to be budget conscious since I have a very structured, very limited income. I don't have the ability to go running out and collecting two or three jobs and like stacking them all together and that kind of thing. Some people do. I don't. There's a reason I'm trying to do YouTube. <laughs> It would be nice to pick up a little bit of change if I ever get that high up. Now, with the pink, I'll probably put at least one more layer on the pink in a little bit, but I want the first one to kind of dry down just a little. So I'm going to start with, I've got a champagne gold that's also in this same palette that I started with and then with on the other eye I actually added a slightly darker gold a little later on but I'm going to start just like I did on the other eye with the champagne gold and you just kind of smear it around a little bit more as you go off the edge the far edge of the eye and I used a bit of that champagne gold as the inner hot corner highlight. This one's looking a little pale. Let me fix that. And then I ran some of that pale gold up under the lower lashes so that it's part of the ribbon section. Nice wide ribbon, you know. Kind of ties that color in together. Now this area that I just put down is where the knot kind of gets drawn in. I'm getting a fine detail brush and I'm going to put some of the rest of the ribbon structure in with the fine detail brush much easier to draw with than the other one and I made kind of a loopy thing here that will make more sense once I start putting the eyeliner lines in now I will guarantee you these will not look identical. It is what it is. My drawing capacity is not necessarily the best thing on the planet. However, if all you're doing is a couple of little sketch lines, to kind of give a little definition.
it's not such a big deal if they're not perfectly matched or identical. We're just trying to give kind of an impression of a ribbon. So that it gives the impression of being tied in a bow of some sort. It doesn't have to be perfect. We are not here to be perfect. If you want perfect, I can think of a few other eye artists that are much better at it than I am. Because I can draw a few lines, even on paper. But doing perfect lines, even on paper, has never been my strong suit. I do much better in artwork that I attempt, ignoring trying to do straight lines, and doing color washes with watercolors, and saying to heck with the lines. Okay, lash line a little thicker on this side, so I'll go blop some more on on the first one, even though I got this nice, clear, clean, little fine line at the base of the lashes. So much for that. There we go. Now, most of the lines I left to, out here on the face, I left pretty much to the pencil. But I kind of reinforced them just a little bit with the liquid liner. And then they softened back up a little bit as I put another coat of the eye makeup on so that it wasn't quite as blindingly stark. All right, let's get that first brush again. I'm going to pick up some more of that pink shimmer. I thought about getting some glitter out, but the only glitter I currently have is going to be more of a red than this pink. And I really, really like this pink. It's kind of a slightly purpley pink, which is not exactly something I do that often. And because me and purple don't always get along. My skin tone and purple are not very friendly. It's like I've got a very yellow skin tone. And if you put purple and yellow together, you usually get mud. So don't normally use a lot of purples. They just, I look bruised. Pick up a little more of the gold, but this is a slightly darker gold.
Now, when I get back over here to where the ribbon area is, I'm more kind of pat it than, than play drag it. So it kind of works in with the liner to kind of soften up that liner look. But then leaving me with the brighter ribbon. Stop being a pain. Let's see it. There we go. It's want to be a pain in the tuchus. It wants a little extra love. out again, touch up those lines just a little bit more, and then I'm going to run away and go off camera and put the rest of my face on and I will be back in a few minutes. Well, you'll only think it's a couple of seconds. Be right back. 